I just got back home from the gym and I bought one of these like bags that the Grab, you know, Uber Eats guys use. Um, I was using my sports bag to put in eggs, chicken, potato and everything. And I kept breaking eggs. So this is actually quite a big bag. Um, Got this little skeleton here. Well, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff here. Um, and um, so I'll put that in. Oh, only a few pieces, isn't it? Not too many. Um, and there's all those little connector rods. So I'm guessing. Ah, okay. So all I do is just put these together, and these go on. Oh, that's a, that's a long one. So that's pretty cool. And they just. Go straight in the side here. And um, at least it'll fit two crates of eggs, 60 eggs, four kilograms of chicken, um, about 10 potatoes, and a five kilogram bag of rice. So I don't have to go two or three times to the supermarket anymore. Makes logical sense. It's about US 10 bucks. So I can't go wrong there. I think the only problem I keep thinking about is you know, the, the carry straps. Um, just exactly how to carry it. But um, what I'm probably thinking is, there we go, it does have that strap here. Um, I have actually, and you can just, but something that I have is I have another long strap, much longer one that I'll use. Uh, I, it's probably going to be a little bit stronger than this one, so I'll have two straps to it. Should be okay. Um, guess we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed my box. Peace. New toy today, Saramonic Blink 500 B2 Plus. Let's uh, check this out. Oh, nice packaging. Let's just put that down there for a minute. Oh, what's in this box? Oh, a nice carry case. All right, we like that. And here it is. Wow, look at that, such convenient size. Um, nice. This has about a 20 hour battery life. And these really have gotten small. Um, this is my old ones. Look at the size difference, it's, it's quite impressive, quite impressive. Um, and this has a really cool little magnet feature. So if you just want to, look at that, done. Not only that, but what I've noticed is that these clips have gotten longer and harder. So you could just, it's easy enough, isn't it? Um, this has a really good noise cancellation as well, I've been told. So it's a nice size of a package. And now the receiver, again, it's a nice small little receiver that just goes on top of the camera. Um, overall, I think this is a pretty nice little package. Um, let's put it in there. 
and if it, it can go straight to USB-C as well and Apple iOS so that's handy um, so anyway, one more thing all the cables come with it as well but there was one problem that I had with so if you have a look it's got a little little fluffy thing on top now will that fit it just won't fit over that's probably the only one annoying thing um, that I think I've, I've noticed with it is that it, it's just a little bit too big to have on while you're charging it so um, <clears throat> that's the one that's the one bad thing but at least it has two of them um, now let me just see if this is correct you, you can't even just keep them in there so that's probably the only real um, thing I can think of but there is there is a hole right at the top here now you can I've been told you can actually if you put them in that hole or, um, I was trying to get it I've got big fingers very long very long it should be able to close so that's good and then with your TRS cable um, it's just you, you can't you've got to put that down you've got to put the the microphone uh, fluffy what is it called fluffy tax on yeah it just won't close with this as well so I think it's best just to leave it like that keep it nice and close it charges at the back as well and just to keep everything in here in a nice little bag and it's a really nice well built bag as well I noticed that um, that's your TRSS I don't use that I use TRS because it's a digital camera and uh, not bad at all so we're going to try this out see how it works when I'm at the gym or going somewhere else so everybody have a fantastic day and uh, stay tuned for more bye bye okay so I'm just doing incline um, barbell at 100 kilogram but because I've got a week left I've got an extra 2.5 kilogram here and um might be a little bit difficult to do. This is my second set or third set. I have to get down. But what you want to do when you do it is just keep your go back only 90 degrees if you're playing basketball. So because you go all the way back, you end up being a little bit too big. And you can't get the right shot off and then shoot. That's what I've always found. You, if, you don't want to get too big all the time. I just do 12. Done a few, so <clears throat> see how it all goes. A bit tired today, so. Didn't go to bed until three. All right, let's go. See, I just wouldn't want to go all the way back because I can't do it anyway. Oh, just hit it. I just realized someone's moved the bar. I'm gonna move the seat in between my set. Let's do two more real quick. Go on. All right. That's why I was hitting. So it doesn't feel like a big dramatic difference, but at least you're getting stronger upper, see, when you can shoot, you can get it off. Alright, good people, 
Let's see for the next video. It'll be more fun, maybe. No, it won't. Okay, two fun core exercises. <clears throat> if you're doing any like raises or kickouts, that's what I call them anyway, there's actually a much stronger muscles right in the back here that we should really be aiming for. We can't really get to them with those traditional type of exercises. You can, but not really effective. So, the thing I want to do is get a nice rubber band. This is actually a pretty heavy weight too. I should have, I picked up a too heavy one. But, um, wrap it around. Right, actually I might wrap it around a few more, give it a little bit more strength because actually this is quite a heavy weight. For doing this exercise, probably, you don't need more than, even if you're a 200 pound big fella, 250, you don't need too much. Hold it out and all you do is basically walk. What you'll do is immediately, and look honestly, you can even do it like with, a, with your elbow against your, and just walk back and forth. I'm not going to get out of range of the camera. Um, what happens is it gets right in quite deep. And what this is, a really good core strength exercise if you can't do squats. Um, however many times you walk, that's up to you. I mean, I used to just walk for five straight minutes with left and then five with right. Actually, I used to switch. Sorry, not five and five, it was five minutes and switching. Um, another way to do it is have a bar. What I'll do is I'll put the weight on here and then my hand on and just basically hold the rubber band with my hand. Oh, 33 degrees already. Can't even see. Not difficult to do. The only problem is the weight will move around. This is an easier way to do it if you can't really hold your arm out. The immediate thing you'll notice is it shakes. So all you do, and what, you, what the job is, is to, to remain in the middle of the, is to remain standing straight up. You will feel that weight shake. And it shakes. Especially if it's seven and a half kilograms. And uh, just go back and forth with it. Like that. Um, just try it for one minute. The great thing with using the bar is your arms aren't going to get as tired. And we're focusing on the core anyway, so let's just move it around. I like to put my hand on top of the band, so at least I know where it is, and I'm not fearing it. So, I'm not fearing it, the band slipping off. You will feel your core shake, trust me. Just like that. It is such a fantastic exercise. Because um, yeah. if you walk around for one minute, you will feel it. So, I like that a lot. You will feel it working right down the bottom of your back, as I said. You'll feel it working right down there. And if you don't, you're doing it wrong. But anyway, I think I've shown you how to do it. So, good luck, good people. I know you can do it. Get that inner core super strong. And have a fantastic day. Bye-bye. So just holding this in my hand at the moment, but um, just really want to admit something. Um, probably the last six to eight weeks, I've started smoking and drinking again. And it snowballs. I went out with this girl, we were having some fun. She, she started smoking and I took a, a cigarette. Then I bought my own pack. Then I bought, you know, three days later, another pack, you know, fell into that really bad, that's that dumbness again. Then, because on that night she was drinking um, whiskey, 
I also ended up buying whiskey. Then I bought another bottle. Then I bought another bottle. Suddenly I bought probably five bottles in the last eight weeks. Um, <clears throat> and probably goodness knows how many cigarette packets. Ten at least. So I got to stop today. Just, just got to stop it. I, you know, once you're an addict to something, you're an addict for life. Um, it doesn't really matter what it is. You know, people are saying, oh, it's just smoking, it's just drinking, that's like legal. Yeah, it is, but it's still an addiction that you know, can take over your life. So I just got to stop that stuff. Um, today, just not again, never, never, ever again. Uh, just concentrate on the gym. I mean, number one, it's no good drinking, smoking. You know, it narrows your arteries, can't get blood flow through to your body. Alcohol is no good for muscle. So, you know, what am I doing? I'm, I'm looking... Better and better and better, but I'm smoking and drinking, smoking and drinking. No, eventually I'll hit some kind of plateau and I, I won't be able to get to where I want to go. So I'm just going to have to stop smoking and drinking today, never again in the rest of my life. What else can I say? I've tried this you know, 20 times in my life now. This might be the 21st time, but this might be the best time. And you know what? Before two months ago, I hadn't touched a drink or a smoke in two and a half years. So I can do it again, I guess. Let's see how it goes. Okay, first use of my bag. Um, yeah, I know. My bed isn't made, doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> so, the eggs, maybe I should move this stuff off the bed as well. They're not broken. My other sport bag, there would always be two, three, four eggs broken. That's one week. Potatoes, which I just, I just um, steam those. Um, 2.5, four and a half kilograms of chicken. I'm not going to take them out of the bag because and five kilograms of what? Rice. So that's it's 1.2. That's two kilogram. This is probably three plus four and a half, seven and a half, twelve and a half kilograms of food in this bag. I didn't notice it breaking. The only thing I did, I added an extra strap because this one, the one it came with, looks thin. And this is a guitar strap. Um, just and, oh, oh, and little crackers as well, of course. Um, so once a week now, just on the su on Sunday, I just, just go one time to the supermarket to get everything my to my to my go-to foods. So that's really good. Um, and I've got 7-Eleven next door, and I just want a little snack here and there. Um, it'd be really good if home delivery was available to where I am but I'm just half a mile outside the delivery area <laughs> so they might change that very soon as this area becomes more populated I'm not sure if that's happening but you know if it does I'm sure they might look at it so that's 12 and a half 13 kilograms of food right there in one hit nice and easy and the total bill for all this was uh, about 950 baht. I don't know what that is in US or Australian dollars anymore, but I don't think you could do it in Australia. Um, so yeah, happy with this bag. Good purchase for, I think, 350 Thai baht. All right, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, good people. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for watching this video, and hopefully you're following me on other platforms as well. If you can follow me, subscribe, join my OnlyFans, um, send me messages, tell your friends about my channel, share my channel to people you know or don't even know. Go on to other social media platforms and, and uh, send a link there. It would be greatly appreciated. Really got to get the word out, get the followers behind me so I can continue with this. So thank you very much again, good people, and everybody have a fantastic day. Bye for now.